historically, the, there are harlequinades pretty well all through the history of toy theatre production, mm. partly because it becomes very self repetitive. Mm. They, they go on doing the same things. Mm. So they're always there, but they reflect a period in English drama, I think particularly strong in the 1840s, 1850s, mm. when this was the format of the pantomime. And obviously, this is what children wanted to buy, because a great many of them were done in this paper form. Mm. And the, the odd thing is that the essence of particularly the Harlequinade part of the pantomime, is that it's dance and mime mm. with very little spoken dialogue. Mm. And this is very hard to do with cardboard. True. <laughs> and you'd have to be quite a colourful character, I think, to pull it off as uh, well as and a child. <laughs> only quite recently have I tried with, I probably could have. with my <laughs> friends David and Debbie to, what, did to you actually do a Harlequinade, do a harlequinade on, on the stage. And, and it, it's rather weird. Can you sing a bit of one of the songs? Well... Well, David sang uh, Grimaldi's famous song, Hot Codlins. Oh, how does, I've never heard that. Please, how's that go? Because when I was doing my research, I kept seeing that. And there's also other songs I was thinking, well, how were these sung? So sing a, can you sing us well, a little bit? Well, let me see if I can remember. Uh, a little old lady, hot codlins, da, 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 de, de, da. hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very good, is it? It's a da, uh, de, de, da. you improvising uh, out of the but, but the, the point of it is that, that um, in each verse, there's a rhyme mm. that the singer doesn't say mm. and the audience has to call it out. Mm. So at the end of the first verse, she's out in the street selling these hot apples and she's feeling a bit cold. Is that so what a codlin is? Yeah, is a it? codlin is a hot apple. I imagined uh, it was like a shellfish. Uh, and, <laughs> oh, is that you and, and so she she thought it no sin to right. pop inside for a quarter of gin. That's right. And then <laughs> Grimaldi, when he sang it at that point, called out to the audience, for shame, <laughs> like this. Uh, and there's something about her landing on her latter end. Uh, ah, of uh, course, uh, yeah. At the end, because she gets so drunk, she falls over.